I'm gonna film this because I can and well because I've not witnessed this I've not seen this in real life before like in person so yeah why not just film it okay so you guys remember we fed our slings those little maggots those tiny soldier fly larvae yep those things were pretty much maggots and they turn into I mean what do maggots turn into flies am I right yeah of course I mean maggots what else do they turn into so I fed one soldier fly larvae to this female tarantula last time I'm not gonna be able to see it now so yeah let's just put my phone in and oh actually you guys can see it there it is there's the tarantula and she did not want to eat because she was in molt at the time I was feeding. And I didn't know that. I just put in the maggot. And now, like, after maybe a week or two, uh, look in here. In the water dish. I think, I think, yeah, I just think. That right there is the black soldier fly. And it's still alive, so. That is pretty interesting. I've not seen a fly that looks like this before, so interesting. Have you guys seen something like this before? If you guys have, comment down below. I know it's nothing special for like black soldier fly breeders out there, but for me, I've not seen something like this before. I mean, just feeding those maggots was my first time. I've not even seen those maggots in person before I bought them. So yeah, this right here is pretty new to me and this looks nothing like a fly. Oh, oh my gosh whoops whoops <laughs> and yeah this looks nothing like a fly like guys tell me what kind of fly is this i mean yeah it's a black soldier fly like obviously and since this torrential over here does not want to eat we're gonna be feeding that black so question though do they even fly if they fly i mean they're considered flies they're black soldier flies so i don't know if they fly but maybe because it's in the water the water has been absorbed into his wings which caused it to be more heavy so heavier so he maybe cannot flap it but i'm still going to use a tong later and we're going to be feeding this guy over to one of my tarantulas and oh my gosh are you serious like why is everything dying in my water dishes like why do these guys go in <laughs> so here's a dubia roach and yep he's dead he is dead Oh, this in here is my Arizona blonde, my second Arizona. Oh, what the heck? Wait, what? What is? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, can you see what's in? Oh my gosh! <sighs> like, like, where, where, where are my tongs? I'm gonna be needing my tongs. Where are? There they are. What the? Why aren't you eating your your dubias? Like, you can see down there. Wait, let me grab it. Let me grab it. Let me. Oh, oh, really? Really? A dead dubia? Oh my gosh, where is my Arizona blonde? It's in there somewhere, but why isn't she eating? I don't even know. Okay, so now, since you don't want to eat... No, we're not going to be feeding these to tarantulas because they are kind of gross. They're dead. So as you can see, that pot over there, yeah, it's pretty much where I throw all my dead roaches. Very, very fertile plant because of the dead roaches, I think. Good organic fertilizer. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to feed this little guy, this little black soldier fly, to one of my tarantulas. And I'm not sure what their reaction is going to be. I don't even know if this fly is just going to fly away. I don't know, it's my first time doing this. So let's see how this goes. Which tarantula should I feed? I don't even... You know what? I'm just gonna feed one of my slings over here. I'm, I'm gonna look for my, where is my Acanthus scoria chaquana? Here it is. This is also known as the Bolivian pink tarantula. Very, very aggressive eater. So yeah, let's see, let us see. Can I open this with one hand? Oh, please, come on, open, sesame, open, sesame. <laughs> there we go, see? Okay, so here, right here is my, this right here, not here, right here, wait, what? <laughs> this right here, is my Acanthoscoria chaquana, the Bolivian pink sling. And these guys, they get super gorgeous when they're adults. Like when they're slings, they're pretty much like any other baby tarantula slings. So yeah, but, but I think this is considered a juvenile already. But yeah, anyways, that's besides the point of this video. Let's get this fly, this fly. It looks nothing like a fly to me. Let's get him into this and let's see how he eats. Okay, come here. There we go. Whoa, look at what is whoa i think you can actually fly look at that 
Look at his wings. It's vibrating. Oh my gosh. What the heck? I mean, look at the, the, the white thing on his abdomen. That is so cool. Man, I think... Dip it into water more. <laughs> I think this one will fly. So come on, Tarantula. I hope you grab it quick. Please, please grab it. Please grab it. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. I don't want the fly to fly. Come on, grab it, grab it. Yes, come on, come on. You got this, you got this. Come on, grab it, grab it. I need you to grab it. I don't want the fly to fly. Come on, please. Yes, yeah. oh, yes, yes, yes. I accidentally zoomed out with my phone. No, no, but yes, we got a takedown on the fly. That was my first time dealing with a fly and my tarantula. I mean, please do not go out and like catch a fly or slap a fly and feed it to a tarantula. That's no good. These flies are captive born, born hatched. I don't know, bred. I don't know. But yeah, that is pretty cool, man. There goes that fly. You may survive as a maggot. And you may get into an adult size in this tarantula that just didn't want to eat you. But <laughs> you're not going to survive forever because we have another tarantula who will definitely take you down for lunch. Yep, it's lunch right now, not dinner. So, <sighs> okay. Ooh, my Singapore Blue. It's been a while. It's been a while since she's come out. She's usually like down there. But yeah, I just gave her another water dish because this water dish, she just decides to cover it for some odd reason. But yeah, this water dish seems to be fine. And you can see those white things in the water dish. Yep, that is her poop. I don't know what's with tarantulas and just pooping in their water dishes. Whatever makes them happy, I guess. So this tarantula didn't want to eat, but we still... Oh, no, 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 no. You're not spilling water onto... I already spilled water onto the remote. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> okay, so yeah, as I was mentioning, sorry about this, I was cleaning my roach bin and this was their uh, food container. Let's put that over there and well, gonna have to give this a quick rinse because we're gonna have to replace the water dish in for the tarantulas. Swishy, swashy, swash of water. Okay, because tarantulas, you guys know, although they are spiders, yes, spiders do drink. And oh, hello, this is my Serata Jar Darlingi, the big mom, the, the mom of those babies. Yeah, 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 this is the mom of those slings, the one that we fed those soldier fly larvae. Let's plop back the water dishes into the tarantula enclosures so we can finally end the video i think i'm talking too much already i mean what's new right every video i talk too much so yeah guys before i bore you guys any longer that will be it for this video if you liked it thumbs it up if you didn't like it thumbs it down but if you really 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 don't like it just click that thumbs down button like twice <laughs> <laughs> because then I will know that you really dislike this video, I guess. Yeah, just kidding. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, have a good one, and hopefully this guy, oh, I mean, hopefully it's a girl, hopefully this girl enjoys her meal, and yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.